Welcome to another week of the van build. We have walls. Yeah, we got the walls. They're all painted. They're looking good. Got a little bit of touch-ups to do on those. Uh, just, just minor though. It's not too bad. And then starting to build the structure of the van. So. We're super excited. This week we are going to build our overhead cabinets. We are going to get the bed framed. And if we have time, we are going to try and frame the kitchen as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be cool to see if we can make the counter as high as we want it. It's just totally customizable, so we'll see what it looks like. And that'll start making it look like the van. So I know, why. so we're not going to waste any time. Um, it's already 2 o'clock. We spent most of our morning moseying around Home Depot. It's raining. <laughs> and it's pouring rain. <laughs> so we're going to get to work. We're going to see how far we can get today. And yeah, let's get started. Let's go. Woo! wood framing that we did there for our overhead cabinets. We're using the crank tool to get a better connection. They're all going to be hanging down. We've marked the spots the 24 inches apart and then we're going to have plywood going across to make the bottom of our shelf. So it should be pretty easy. We had a few screw-ups and we're hoping for no more. Now that we got the plywood up for the garage, I am going to try to get some of this stuff, all of this electrical, onto that wall. That way we can do a little bit of cleanup on the wiring. So, not going to set it all up yet, but just going to get it mounted, and then we'll have a later video later on that talks about how the electrical works and how all of these things connect together. And we'll make an awesome van. got all the electrical connected there or not connected it's all dismounted so this is going to be the whole electrical zone We've got a ton of wiring to do uh, but we're going to cover all that in a later video uh, but basically at a high level this is going to allow us to run normal house outlets it's going to let us charge our stuff with our all of our stuff with solar it's going to distribute all of our battery loads it's going to allow our inverter to charge the batteries and it's gonna have breakers for things like our air conditioners and then all of our 12 volt appliances. So that's really what, what this is in a high level, uh, but then we'll walk through all of it in more detail later on. We will, it's getting late, so we'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to another day of the van build. What you doing? I'm painting the bed rails. Getting the bed rails. That's good. And it's sunny out, even though it's still like really cold. And I am putting on some brackets behind these posts here, which are framing for our overhead cabinets, just to give them a little bit of support. The oak wood that was up here was cracking a little bit when we were putting in the support. So just to be safe, I'm putting a little bit of braces in there to make sure it feels really sturdy, which they do already. And yeah, if all goes well, we'll get the cabinets done and get this bed framed in here and then That'll feel pretty good. And hopefully we don't run out of paint. <laughs> Let's get to it. So we've got most of the cabinets up. The annoying thing is that the van kind of goes like it waves. It's a little bit tighter at the back, it's wider, and then it gets a little bit tighter at the front, just the way that the van's shaped. So the distance from the front of the cabinet to the back of the cabinet here is shorter than in the middle from here to here, and then it gets shorter again towards the front. So you can't just cut a nice straight piece of plywood and put it on there. Uh, maybe if you had a, yeah, in order to make it fit well, you can. So. What we did was we took a level to each one of these posts here, made sure they were all level, and then took the measurement from the edge to the back, wrote them all down, and then marked that on plywood, cut the plywood to that shape, and then it seems to fit pretty well. So I put a few nails in. We're going to 
drill all of these posts in as well so that it's a nice solid foundation and glue it all down and then put some more support beams in there and then we'll use screws afterwards uh, to really lock it all in. That's a look. Good. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't really sure when we had just like all these spindles hanging down, but now that the now that it's starting to look a little bit better, it looks good. Guess how many times we've already smashed our vices into the wood spindles. Oh yeah. Too many. We have to get used to having something in the roof. We're so used to having just like open space, and now that we're starting to fill it in, we're definitely hitting our hands. Yeah, the band is getting smaller. <laughs> so, all right, let's get this done. so I couldn't talk to you. Um, today it's a little bit of a cooler day. It was raining this morning, but now it's decent and it's uh, just taking a little break from the van build to practice a little bit of air work. So I'm currently uh, 4,000 feet, uh, headed almost at Mount Albert, and I'm gonna be practicing what's called forced approaches. So that's where you practice situation, a situation, unlikely situation where your engine fails and you have to pitch for the best glide ratio to land in a nearby field. So we'll practice a few of those. And um, basically you pull the power back from the engine and <laughs> simulate it and hope, well not hope, you, you follow your technique to um, do a landing. And today may be a little bit more interesting just because it's kind of gusty and windy out here. So kind of throws off your mind calculations of making the field. So we'll be good practice. <laughs> So we might have lost our minds last night, came in and we decided that we didn't really like care how the paint was drying, there was kind of spots everywhere on the roof and the walls that we just weren't 100% happy with. We've done three coats of paint and it just still wasn't going away. So we decided that we were going to sand the walls down completely back to the wood. Um, so we spent hours in here last night, um, we aren't having a lot of luck. We are putting on a 50 um, grit, I think. Uh, for sandpaper on to we've got a, a big sander we're gonna see how that works we were using 80 last night it was working but it just was taking a long time so we're gonna give that a try and hopefully we get this all off the walls today because this has been a full day process yesterday and it's put, put us back a bit so it's okay there's always a few little bumps along the way but we want to see this done So we weren't happy with the paint so much, like there were some imperfections and stuff. So we've decided, well, the sanding really sucks. We got like, really sucks. Like really sucks. We did a good job on the wall. We still have quite a bit more to do, but the ceiling. Looks like crap. Well, the ceiling's awful because you're having to try to sand it upside down. So we're just going to pull the ceiling right down. It's demolition day. 
with the van. So we're, we're taking about 20 steps backwards in hopes that we can make it look better. We have reached out to a friend that owns a paint shop. So thank you very much, Aaron and Brad, for all of your assistance. Um, we're gonna add a few more steps into the painting process. We're gonna be doing some ceiling and stuff onto the wood. So hopefully that everything looks tip top shape so that you don't see us next week crying because we are dealing with this a third time. Yeah, so it feels like a little bit of a setback, but hopefully we can just get it all done right and then we'll be happy with it and then we can keep moving on forward. It's gonna be fully painted by tomorrow, right? Hopefully. And so, time to start pulling it down. Right. So you get to watch this. It's time to do the ceiling part two. Or round two. Take two. Take two. We took a break from the uh, ceiling and I'm doing, uh, it's, it's nighttime now and I'm working on the belt, working on the belt sander to try to get this whole wall done. This wall is looking pretty good. Ceiling, we did like one board and then did the pot lights and then the rest would go up pretty quick. So, uh, yeah, but this is pretty arm back breaking stuff, just trying to go back and forth and try to get all that paint off. It's just pretty, it's pretty, uh, it's uh, it's pretty resilient. So I'm gonna try to get the rest of this off done today, then maybe we can do some paint tomorrow. Good morning. We are working hard to get the sanding done today. So I'm gonna waste absolutely no time. My goal is to have all the walls sanded. We're gonna get painting today and hopefully the ceiling's in by the end of the night. So. Without further ado, we're getting rid of all of this and we will be right back with the finish. <laughs> uh, we are taking a break from the sanding. We're almost done the sanding to finish the roof. So this at least feels like we're making a little bit of progress again. So uh, just gonna try to knock this out real quick and then finish the sanding and then we can hopefully start painting. So one board at a time. Nice to see this done again. Thank you. Oh my god. What did you do? You did it again? You did it again! Are you kidding me? Chris! You did it again! I know, I can't believe that. Chris! It's it's it just seems so logical for it to come here. Not <laughs> We did the exact same thing. Are you telling me that these are all useless? Yeah. How do you feel? I'm so mad! <laughs> uh, you'd think I would learn from my mistakes. Last week? Last week, but we redid it again. Wrong size. It's come all the way here. <laughs> Those pieces are garbage. Time to cut it out. <laughs> Brutal. That is a wrap for a very productive week of the van build. A very unproductive Not... week of the van build. <laughs> yeah, we took like uh, one step forward, 40 steps back. We at least got the cupboards done. That's uh, look at those cupboards. Well, the framing for them, anyways. Best thing ever. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we promise next week that there's going to be some more interesting stuff going on, though. We do promise. Yeah, I think the uh, the sanding and the repainting, but well, we haven't done the repainting, but all the sanding has kind of burnt us out this week. But we need a little bit of progress over the next few days. We've got three days actually dedicated to it. So, mm -hmm. well, we will see you next week. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down there if you want to. And if you're not already subscribed, it really does help us grow. We appreciate it so so much, and our goal is to hit thousand subscribers by the end of April so please make that happen for us we're putting it out into the universe so see you later Bye.